So good afternoon and welcome to the Buddhist Society, wherever you're logging on from, wherever you are in the world. Uh, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, here in London, a, a very, very warm day. Um, it's early afternoon and we're going to sit for around 25 minutes to half an hour. Let's sit together as an online Sangha. We're not at the Buddhist Society today um, as it was decided that braving public transport in London today was probably a bit much. Uh, so we're just at an online Sangha today. So I'm going to start in my usual way, but please uh, do ensure that you're comfortable and well hydrated. And um, if at any time you need to uh, take water, please do. Don't think you have to sit through um, the entire meditation without drinking. Um, if you need to drink, drink. Uh, that's the advice, is to stay cool and hydrated. So, with that in mind, the dedication of offerings. To the Blessed One, the Lord who fully attained perfect enlightenment, to the teaching which he expounded so well, and to the Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well. To these, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, we render with offerings our rightful homage. It is well for us that the Blessed One, having attained liberation, still had compassion for later generations. May these simple offerings be accepted for our long-lasting benefit and for the happiness it gives us. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one, I render homage to the Buddha, the blessed one. The teaching so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dhamma. Blessed ones, disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. Recollection of the Buddha. A good word of the blessed one's reputation has spread as follows. He, the blessed one, is indeed the pure one, the perfectly enlightened one. He is impeccable in conduct and understanding, the accomplished one, the knower of the worlds. He trains perfectly those who wish to be trained. He is teacher of gods and humans. He is awake and holy. The supreme praise of the Buddha. The Buddha, the truly worthy one endowed with such excellent qualities, whose being is composed of purity, transcendental wisdom and compassion, who has enlightened the wise like the sun awakening the lotus. I bow my head to that peaceful chief of conquerors, the Buddha who is the safe, secure refuge of all beings, as the first object of recollection I venerate him with bowed head. I am indeed the Buddha's servant. The Buddha is my Lord and guide. The Buddha is sorrow's destroyer who bestows blessings on me. To the Buddha I dedicate this body and life and in devotion I will walk the Buddha's path of awakening. For me there is no other refuge the Buddha is my excellent refuge. By the utterance of this truth, may I grow in the Master's way. By my devotion to the Buddha and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. Recollection of the Dharma. The Dharma is well expounded by the Blessed One apparent here and now, timeless, encouraging investigation. 
leading inwards to be experienced individually by the wise. The supreme praise of the Dhamma. It is excellent because it is well expounded and it can be divided into path and fruit, practice and liberation. The Dharma holds those who uphold it from falling into delusion. I revere the excellent teaching, that which removes darkness. The Dharma, which is the supreme secure refuge of all beings, as the second object of recollection, I venerate it with bowed head. I am indeed the Dharma's servant. The Dharma is my Lord and guide. The Dharma is sorrow's destroyer and it bestows blessings on me. To the Dharma I dedicate this body and life and in devotion I will walk this excellent way of truth. For me there is no other refuge. The Dharma is my excellent refuge. By the utterance of this truth May I grow in the Master's way. By my devotion to the Dhamma and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. And so I invite you now to sit in a comfortable, upright position and please stay hydrated on this very hot afternoon. And we'll sit for about 25 minutes or so.
so please feel free to stretch and move and take some water. And well done for sitting through a long, hot meditation session. Just some notices from the Buddhist Society. Uh, this is the last day of um, the last Monday of term. Uh, Friday is the last day of term. So there's a six week break and we start again in September. This evening there will be the Zen class and the Theravada class, both starting at 6.30. And this evening the Theravada class is taken by Ajahn Kandasiri from her uh, retreat centre in Scotland. And on Thursday, there's uh, in the evening at 6.30, there's the Tibetan class and the basic meditation class. And this week, the basic meditation class will be taken by Ajahn Sabado from his hideaway in Spain. Um, so, um, and on Friday at lunchtime, there will also be, uh, at this time, there'll be an online meditation session. Um, so for the login details and all the, the, the other events, please see the Buddhist Society website. I'm going to finish today by reading the Buddha's words on loving kindness. I'm going to read them quite slowly. This is a meditation in itself. And um, then I'll finish with the closing homage. The Buddha's words on loving kindness. This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties, and frugal in their ways. Peaceful and calm, and wise and skillful. Not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove. Wishing in gladness and in safety may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be at ease. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none through anger or ill will wish harm upon another. Even as a mother protects with her life, her child, her only child, so with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded. Freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding. By not holding to fixed views, the pure hearted one, having clarity of vision, being freed from all sense desires, 
is not born again into this world. A closing homage. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one, I render homage to the Buddha, the blessed one. The teaching so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dharma. The blessed one's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. So thank you all very much for joining this online Sangha and for those of you that do attend in person at the Buddhist Society. I hope to see many of you again next term. I wish you all a very good uh, rest of July and August and please stay cool and uh, hydrated. Go well.